Nvidia is getting ready to launch its mainstream GeForce RTX 4060 Ti graphics card in a matter of weeks. In this video, I compiled all the latest leaks about this graphics card to let you know what to expect from it in terms of specifications, gaming performance, price and release date. But first, a quick word about my sponsor. CDKeyOffer.com is my number one choice for when I need to buy a cheap Microsoft software key. They are a reliable provider of affordable keys to me, my friends and the channel community for over two years now, so highly recommend it. Use my discount code IVADIM to get 30% off an already amazing price and grab yourself a Windows 10 Pro for $16, Windows 11 Pro for $23 or Office 2021 for just $52. You can use PayPal for fast and secure payment and get your key instantly. Links to all these products are in the description below. The launch process for the RTX 4060 Ti is already underway, with press and influencer list submissions already completed. Nvidia is scheduled to begin shipping the cards to retailers on May 5th, which likely accounts for the absence of any recent photo leaks. According to a reducted embargo timeline document obtained by videocards.com, the RTX 4060 Ti is set to launch by the end of this month. AMD has opted to release its RX 7600 series graphics card on May 25th, therefore we can anticipate Nvidia launching the RTX 4060 Ti on a different day. I am confident we will discover the precise date as the launch approaches, so be sure to subscribe to the channel for that update. And here are the leaked specifications of the RTX 4060 Ti. The graphics card uses a cut-down version of the AD106 GPU produced on the TSMC 4N node, which provides significant power efficiency as well as performance improvement compared to the Samsung 8nm node used in the previous generation RTX 30 series graphics cards. The 4060 Ti features 4,352 CUDA cores, 32 ray tracing cores, 8 GB of 18 gigabit per second GDDR6 memory across a 128 bit bus, providing the card with 288 GB per second of bandwidth. The TDP is just 160 watts, which is significantly lower than that of the 3060 Ti. Another source states that the 4060 Ti will have a 2310 MHz base and 2535 MHz boost core clock. If this is true, then the theoretical performance of the RTX 4060 Ti is 22 teraflops, which is 45% weaker than the RTX 4070 Ti. However, this does not mean that the 4060 Ti will be 45% slower than the 4070 Ti in games. Luckily, there is a way to find out how the 4060 Ti will perform in games. There is a graphics card based on the same AD106 GPU that is already available to buy, so it has been reviewed and tested. I am talking about the RTX 4070 laptop graphics card. Looking at the differences in specifications between these two GPUs, it is safe to conclude that RTX 4060 Ti performance will be very close to what we see from an RTX 4070 laptop. So, with that in mind, let's have a look at how many FPS we can expect from an RTX 4060 Ti in various games at 1080p and 1440p resolution. In Cyberpunk 2077 on Ultra settings, 4060 Ti should pump out close to 77 FPS at 1080p and 50 FPS at 1440p. With enabled ray tracing, DLSS quality mode and frame generation, we should expect about 100 FPS at 1080p and 75 FPS at 1440p. Dead Space is another fresh game. Using ultra settings at 1080p, expect to see about 85 FPS average and 52 FPS at 1440p. Switching on DLSS quality mode, the numbers go up to 120 FPS at 1080p and 87 FPS at 1440p. In Microsoft Flight Simulator on ultra graphics, we should see close to 70 FPS average at 1080p and just above 50 FPS at 1440p. DLSS quality mode with frame generation enabled should improve that to 115 FPS at 1080p and 77 FPS at 1440p. A Plague Tale Requiem is yet another recently released AAA game which is quite graphically demanding. 
Expect RTX 4060 Ti to deliver close to 60 FPS at 1080p and 44 FPS at 1440p. Again, you will have to enable DLSS in this game to boost that frame rate for consistent 60 plus FPS experience. Expect 115 FPS at 1080p and 85 FPS at 1440p with DLSS quality mode and frame generation enabled. Spider-Man Remastered is a good-looking game which is not too demanding. So expect 132 FPS average at 1080p and 98 FPS at 1440p on very high graphics preset. By the way, if you like this video then consider tapping that thumbs up button below. It is the best way to reward me for my work. Now moving on to the popular online shooters. You should expect to be able to play maxed out Apex Legends quite comfortably with 4060 Ti. On average, the performance should be around 130 FPS at 1080p and over 100 FPS at 1440p. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 should play nicely even on extreme settings with over 100 FPS average at 1080p and around 75 FPS at 1440p. If you are a fan of Red Dead Redemption 2, then you will be happy to hear that I expect 4060 Ti to deliver a good experience in this game, with over 75 FPS average at 1080p and over 60 FPS at 1440p using ultra settings. The FPS looks pretty good, especially considering that we are talking about a 160 watt graphics card here. Unfortunately, there is a catch. We've had 8GB graphics cards for a decade now, so it's a fairly old standard. As a result of that, we have already seen a few next-gen games released this year that require more than 8GB of memory if you want to use ultra-quality textures. I have an entire video explaining why you should not buy an 8GB graphics card in 2023 even for 1080p gaming. Check it out after you're done with this video if you want to learn about the problems that await you if you decide to buy an 8GB graphics card. The link is in the description below. But here's the TLDR. In some current and upcoming games, you'll need to lower the texture quality to high or medium because 8GB is not enough for storing ultra-quality textures, as well as other beautiful effects. To me, it seems odd that Nvidia plans to launch 8GB graphics cards again, especially after introducing the RTX 3060 with 12GB in the previous generation of GPUs. I hope they will release both 8GB and 16GB versions, similar to what they did with the GTX 1060 3GB and 6GB graphics cards. However, there is no evidence to suggest that the company is even considering this option. But yeah, I do not recommend you buy an 8GB graphics card in 2023, period. Of course, unless you have a very specific use case for it and you know exactly what you are doing. As for the price, it is still unknown. However, Nvidia will think twice before giving the RTX 4060 Ti an absurdly high MSRP. Customers have proven time and time again that they will not buy these overpriced products. I am talking about the RTX 4080, 4070 and 4070 Ti, all of which are not selling well, forcing Nvidia to limit production of these graphics cards to allow the channels to clear inventory. We have already seen some small price cuts here and there, but I expect to see bigger price cuts coming soon to help clear the channels. This leads me to believe that Nvidia is considering giving the RTX 4060 Ti a $399 MSRP, which, in my opinion, is still too much for an 8GB graphics card in 2023. Asking for anything above $300 for an 8GB GPU is just madness. In conclusion, I think that the RTX 4060 Ti is a strange product. It is very power efficient, but the 8GB memory is just not enough in 2023 if you want to play the latest AAA games using the highest quality textures. If I were Nvidia, I'd just give this graphics card 16GB of memory. RAM prices are fairly cheap due to low demand anyway, so I don't see any good reason not to do it. But what do you think about the RTX 4060 Ti? Are you planning to buy it? Let me know in the comments. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more if you haven't already. It was I, Vadim, until next time.